Something exciting is happening at our office. If you've ever been to the office, you'll know it's a pretty ordinary old building, dimly lit with scungy carpet, crammed with a few desks and a ton of books on everything sustainability related. We're practical folk, and this office has served us just fine in pursuing our mission of building happy, healthy, and resilient Tasmanian communities. Then, our lease arrangements changed, such that our rental costs doubled, along with our floor space. We then had the addition of a particularly ordinary storeroom, and a large open room out the back. We saw this as an exciting opportunity. Over the past few years, the politics and public discourse around climate change and sustainability has been thoroughly disappointing. Action has faltered at this crucial time for humanity, and people have switched off to more doom and gloom. To get things moving again, we need to build a positive vision for the future. We need to focus on the ways in which living sustainably can enrich our lives. We need to come together to build a stronger sense of community. We need to learn and share skills that empower us to do something positive and practical that inspires others into action. And we believe Tassie can lead the way. We aim to create a new space dedicated to educating and inspiring Tasmanians on happy, healthy and sustainable living. A place where people can come together to reskill and build stronger, more resilient communities. Here's the plan. Remove the existing internal walls. Set up a new office here and a storeroom here. The remaining space in the front is a mini exhibition which will inform Tasmanian households on everything sustainable living. The large space at the back is a community event centre where we and our partnering community organisations and businesses will hold regular events. All up, the value of this project is $125,000. Half of that is being provided in kind by a bunch of fantastic businesses that we'll tell you more about in this in future videos. We were also successful in winning a grant from the Tasmanian Community Fund, which was enough to kickstart the project. And we've received some generous donation pledges. We now need your help to raise the remaining $15,000 required to realize our vision. Please consider making a tax-deductible donation before the end of the financial year. Let us show you what we've done so far. Rather than using the standard practice of demolishing everything and throwing it into landfill, we hired the Resource Work Cooperative, the organization that runs the South Hobart Tip Shop. They are experts in deconstructing buildings and separating the materials into that which can be reused, that which can be composted, and the rest. Nasty stuff that needs to go to landfill, such as plasterboard covered in lead-based paint. Next was the painstaking task of manually removing thousands of carpet staples from the floorboards. A huge thanks to our volunteers Richard, John, and Phil, who did the lion's share of the job over many hours. We then brought the builders in, Matty G and his team from Island Workshop. Where possible, they reused materials including Dura compressed straw panels from the renovations at Ecohaven downstairs, an old garage roller door and louver doors, other eco-friendly materials such as masonite were sourced from K&D. Once the first stage of the building was done, we had a working bee to prepare the walls for painting and the floor for sanding and oiling, thanks to everyone that helped out. Sam Fenton is our painter. He is using the non-toxic Levos Dobron discretion on the ceiling and walls, which is VOC free, breathable and made from all natural materials. On the windows and metal posts, we're using a low VOC paint from the paint shop. The timber floorboards that were exposed in the deconstruction have been gently sanded back by Jesse from J&B Floor Sanding in preparation for Robert and Angela from Levos Australia, who ran a workshop on using their beautiful Kunos natural sealant for protecting wood floors. The transformation that took place over just a couple of days was amazing. So this is our new kitchenette, made by a local cabinet maker, Bert Ferrison. He got hardwood studs from the tip shop and emailed them to make our bench top. The fronts of the cabinets are recycled Taz oak, and inside the bottom of the drawers and the backs of the cabinets are basically offcuts from the walls that we made in the front. Everything's oiled with um, citrus thinners and linseed oil mix, and a stove donated by members of the Park. There's still plenty of work to be done. Help us make it happen by giving a tax deductible donation. Once it's all finished, we will have a state-of-the-art event space, which will host talks, workshops, demonstrations, lunches, films, meetings, and conferences. One of the aspects that we are most excited about is the installation of video conferencing equipment. This will give all Tasmanians the opportunity to link in to meetings and join the audience for talks and workshops. A huge thank you to Stuart Godfrey for his generous donation, which made this possible. We'll also share our events with the world by recording them and posting them here on our YouTube channel. Living sustainably is not a simple, straightforward path. Often the issues that we are faced with are complex, and it's difficult to make a clear judgment on which product, service, or action is the best choice. With our new exhibition space, we will make sustainability more accessible by creating educational displays that engage people and provide a clear picture of the major sustainability issues and the most appropriate solutions. 
Help us create something tangible that will make a real difference. This community education and event space will help to build happy, healthy and sustainable Tasmanian communities. Please make a tax-deductible donation now.